Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I am Raquel Malone Patterson, and welcome to our 21 to win. I hate that glare. I am. Our 21 to win challenge. Day one, part three between myself and my sister, Havilah Malone. And, um, <clears throat> you know, our 21 to win challenge is geared toward um, exercise, purposeful living, um, healthy eating, and vlogging our experience. And, you know, with that being said, life has a lot of lessons. And, um, you know, how we receive those lessons, um, there's really no determining factor, I would say, no one determining factor in how we experience things in life and how we learn lessons in life um you know you just have to be willing to accept them as they come um be receptive to the lesson that you are to learn and um move forward basically that's what it's all about and so my sister um in part two of our challenge um you know she went through a lesson a life lesson and it was willed that way. That's the way it was supposed to go. Things were supposed to happen in that exact way. Um, but it didn't help that I was praying she messed up. <laughs> it wasn't me since I messed up the first time. So, yeah, I didn't want it to be me again. And in lieu of the fact that it was the Christmas holiday and I had cooked all this food for my family to eat, and I was not able to partake in any of it. It was so, uh, it wasn't really depressing. It was just like extremely difficult. And I was willing to forego another challenge just so I could eat <laughs> a plate of food. And lo and behold, my prayers were answered and I was able to eat a food. It was so good. <laughs> So when my sister hit me up, and uh, of course, you know, my heartstrings were just aching for her because as a perfectionist, she does not want to make a mistake. She does not, she want, does not want to mess up. Um, but you know, I mean, listen, we all are flawed. That is the commonality between us all as humans that we all have flaws and we all make mistakes and it's just about learning from those mistakes and learning how to move forward because again this 21 to 1 challenge is so much more than um you know some things that we have decided to put in place to better ourselves and better our journey um that we call life but we have learned so many valuable lessons and we have had the opportunity to experience things together and um, really you know that's basically what this life is all about togetherness and loving each other and having compassion for one another and having grace and mercy for one another and um, you know not beating someone up and not being judgmental because you know what someone else is going through today you may go through next week or next month or next year and so you may have already gone through it also and then you can be a support system for someone you know so I am my sister's accountability partner and am I my sister's keeper yes I am definitely what she goes through we go through and what I go through we again go through we share a lot in common and so it would be remiss of me to um you know, to just beat her up or something that she already felt bad about doing. And I was glad she had the experience um, because she was able to work through some things that she had been holding on to for a long time. And, you know, I'm just grateful that she had the experience. I'm grateful that I was here to go through it with her. The fact that I didn't answer the phone allowed that experience to unfold. It allowed it to come to uh, fruition to manifest itself to completely and utterly change and uh, make aware um, of some issue that she was going through and 
it was meant to be. Let's just say that. So needless to say, I enjoyed my food. It was fantastic. And I made sure in my new um, challenge discipline that I allowed myself to eat another plate of food on yesterday. <gasps> Woo! It was fantastic. Yesterday and today, it was wonderful. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now tomorrow is a different day because we're going back to our regimen. But I've put some things in place that would allow me to enjoy a few decadences. And um, so, yes, I will continue with my exercise. In spite of my sciatica, I'm just going to press forward. On the days that I feel good, I'm going to put forth extra effort. And on the days that I'm not able to, I'm going to do just the bare minimum so that I don't injure myself anymore. Um, as far as my purposeful living goes, I'm going to be on track with that. And um, my blogging, of course, and my healthy eating. Yes, we'll do that. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it just, um, it reminded me, I like to research things. Mm -hmm. So it just reminded me to look into something that my sister sent me. Um, and this... Um, it was a, gosh, what was it? It was an article, I would say, an article that she sent me. And I started to read it about the mind and how the mind and body are interconnected and how one can't survive without the other. And if one is damaged, then it damages the other. They work in conjunction with each other. And, um, you know, it's very important that both pieces are healthy in order for us to live a healthy life. And I just wanted to remind you guys of that, that, um, you know, the two cannot be separated. Um, and that anything that affects the soundness of your mind will affect your body and vice versa. And nothing about life is static. Uh, movement is constant and movement is rhythmic. So learn to bend and sway with the rhythms of life. And it'll make it easier. I mean, don't fight them. You know, because some things are really meant to happen and they're there to teach a lesson. They're there to motivate and to instinctively move you. So be willing and don't fight it. Be willing to move with the rhythms of life. And also that your subconscious, um, it does its best work on your behalf while the conscious mind is at rest. And so it's so important for us to get rest. We learn and are refueled and um, um, ideas flourish uh, when you're at rest. You ever had the experience where you thought of something all day? You may have had, um, you know, some really important things that you were trying to figure out and you were unable to do it. You know, one thing after another thing came up and you were unable to make a conscious decision and you went to sleep and at rest, your mind was able to figure things out. And when you woke up that next morning, you were like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. So through prayer and supplication and rest, your mind is able to um, make better decisions, the best decisions. It works best after your mind have been, has been worked all day and then it rests. And then when you wake up refreshed and renewed, then that mind is recharged and it's able to give you exactly what you need. I've noticed that for myself and I know my sister's noticed that also. Um, she's encouraged me to get more rest. Um, and I've been doing well with that. I really have. And I must say, I am less frantic and less consumed with things and you know I'm just I'm really just a free spirit a free thinker I um I don't stress too much over things but when things really um weighs me down or comes up and I feel like I'm not at a place to really um make a decision on things you know I do take time to pray and just free my mind for a moment. Just free your mind because you have so much going on. Um, it's easy for us to be overwhelmed with things and to allow the mind to over, be overworked, um, which brings about stress. And stress comes in so many different forms. And, you know, a lot of stress will bring about um, disease and it'll, it'll take, you know, effect on your body in so many different ways. 
um, you know, chronic illnesses, uh, stomach issues are brought on by stress and asthma, and allergies and um, rashes and um, eczema and things like that. It's all brought on by stress, you know, heart disease and things like that. So it's really, really important that you have downtime and time to, um, you know, just relax and allow the body and mind to heal itself. Because basically, it's what it's doing. A refresher, a re-energizing um, healing. And you must allow it to take place, you know. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know. I want you to enjoy happiness, but also know that um, storms come. Challenges come. Obstacles come. It's all in how you handle it. You have to handle the obstacle. Don't allow the obstacle to handle you. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great day and know that I am here for you. Havila and I are here for you. And I know I told you guys you can email Havila, but if you want to heal me or heal me, y'all go heal me. Oh, I just spoke it. Yes. But <laughs> if you guys want to reach out to me, you guys can contact me at do you believe in you at um, gmail.com. So it's do you believe in you at gmail.com let me see i wrote it down i think it's really i don't know y'all let me check because okay um never mind you know what hit me up at raquel patterson at sbcglobal.net until i get the other thing straight okay raquel patterson at sbcglobal.net i respond to your emails i look forward to hearing from you guys and do you believe in you because i believe in you i really do because together we can make anything happen. Anything is possible when you believe. So you have to believe in yourself. I believe that you can complete this challenge. I believe that my sister and I can complete this challenge. All it takes is a little discipline, a little bit of discipline, some time, some effort. Don't beat yourself up. We're going to have times when we're not as successful as we would like it to be, but there are lessons learned in that uh, failure, you know, if you will. Okay, so you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow for day two. Hey, 21 to 1 challenge, part three. Third time's a charm. I'm telling you, we're going to get it. So we are destined to get it. <laughs> talk to you later.